Do you know that since August 2020, Google introduced a native sharing app inside Android called the Nearby Share that every Android running Android 6 and above have it in their phone. Yeah, okay, you've heard about Nearby Share. But do you know that Nearby Share is three to five times faster than every other sharing apps in Android like Zender, ShareIt, ShareMe and all that? Do you also know that Nearby Share is about the same speed with Apple's iOS AirDrop Share between phones? Of course, this has been here since 2020 and many Android users are still stuck with sharing apps that blow ads everywhere and even transfer some dangerous apps. If you're ready, come with me. Let's get started. Ready. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depot and I'm so excited to have you here today. A very big 4th of July shout out to all our viewers from the United States. Happy Independence, happy 4th of July and make sure you celebrate with love and peace. So let's go into the sharing app. How do you do this? Remember, this is from Android 6 and above. If you have something like a Lollipop, Kit Kats, you are not in this game. So you ready? Let's get started. The nearby share is so easy and convenient to use. You can use it from any application. You don't need to go to another app. Once you in an application, select a file and then use option to share, you will see the nearby, you know, pop up. If you don't see it, I will show you what you do later to get that on. Once you click on it, if a device is turned on, like I already have two devices here, you will see uh, the device. And once you click on the device that's on nearby, it will send a pin, a security to make sure that you you know connected and then you accept it you've just started sharing your file this is so simple so convenient you don't need to open extra app turn on hotspot and all that so the next thing i'm going to explain to you now is how are you going to you know use this so the way it works is that if you're sharing something and you go back it will still be on the background sharing now this is android 12 interface of the way the nearby file uh, sharing goes it will keep running on the background sharing the files so even if you are on android 11 like on the right uh, it will still be running on the background this is the interface for the android 11. so once you do it you can be doing any other thing with your phone and this is a system app so it soon just interrupt once it had that secure connection it's way better and faster than any other of these uh you know sharing apps that they are using <laughs> full of ads and all that you know this is a native app and once the file is done it will store it in the default download folder so that's where you go to look for any file sent with nearby share so how do you use nearby share it's very simple first of all you can turn it on from your uh, menu uh, status bar menu uh, to show you wi-fi bluetooth and location has to be turned on so, so that's that now Another option is that you can go into connected devices in your settings and you go to connection preferences and you can open nearby share to, um, you know, see that this is Android 12 interface. So it might not be like this, but it will still be under that connection preference that you will see the nearby share. So I will still talk to you about this. So you can click on nearby share and then it tell you option to turn on Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and location. If you click OK, it will turn on automatically the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth and then uh, accept the permission. So you can also straight from the application and tell it to share and hit on uh, re, uh, nearby share. So what happens here is very interesting. So it will only ask you for permission for location when you're sharing from app. It won't bring up Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So if you do it now, you see Wi-Fi is not on. If I click continue to give you permission for location, then it will automatically turn on the Wi-Fi. I mean, it's that convenient. There's no need to start stressing yourself and all that. So back to some of the uh, settings inside here. So you already know that when you give it permission for location, it will turn on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and use to connect or search for another device. But here is other settings inside data usage, you know, transfer. There are three transfer options. There is Wi-Fi. The data will use some of your LTE high speed data or use your Wi-Fi connection like the devices are on local connection and then connect. So uh, you can also set your device to be ready so that once you search for nearby share, you know it will connect and then you can easily you know connect it to the device you're sending from 
It is so easy, so convenient, so fast. I don't know why people are still using Zender, share me, share it, and all that sharing files to, you know. But until I see you next time, peace. Subscribe. I'll see you.